All right, welcome back to the Drum Cave at the Music Village. Once again, I'm Chris, and let's talk about that one, three, two, four drum beat. So. There's the one, three, two, four drum beat. Everything else is pretty much an offshoot off of this one drum beat. I put it in my drum book. If you become a student of mine, you'll get a copy of that, the Groove Smith Method. And it's one of the first things in the section on drum beats in my book. And it's the basic thing, again, that all other drum beats kind of offshoot of. Two and four on the snare drum. One and three on the bass drum. Remember when we did our single stroke roll, we practiced marching. We had one and three on our bass drum. One, two, three, four. Remember I told you I had you practice that for a reason. Because we needed our feet. Well, this is why. It's in this, this drum groove and again, just about every other drum groove. One and three on the bass drum. So one and three on the bass drum. Two and four is gonna come on our snare drum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eighth notes on our hi hat. One and two. Now you may be thinking, oh geez, eighth notes on the hi-hat. That seems like an awful lot. But if you remember, we were practicing our single stroke roll. We were practicing 16th notes. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, one and, and three and four and, one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. You were already playing eighth notes with one hand, so you can do this. Remember, we're letting that stick bounce back up at us like a ball. Same here on the hi-hat. And that's going to help your hand not get so tired, right? If you were one hand, two hand, three hand, four, chunking away, moving your whole arm, you would get tired really quickly. So this is where bouncing that stick like a ball is going to come in handy. Now let's break this down a little bit, okay? And then I'm going to show you how you can practice this with just a practice pad. So, breaking this down, because you're going to have problems. I almost guarantee it. You have to build up the coordination to play this. So, how are we going to break it down? There's a few different ways we can break it down. The first thing that you're probably going to have trouble with is getting that bass drum in there and getting it right. That's gonna get you all confused. You gotta remember, you need to lift before the three so you're coming down on the one and three. Two and three and four and one and two and three. If you notice my knee, if you can see it in the video, my knee is going up and down kind of on the and, right? It starts lifting and it's coming down on the three. One and one and, and. So I'm lifting on the and. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. I'm lifting that knee on the and so the foot comes down on the one and three. This is one way you can break it down. Just play one and three on the bass, two and four on the snare with the left hand. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Notice I'm counting 
the eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two. I always like to count the highest note that I'm going to be playing. In this case, eighth notes. When we were playing the single stroke roll, I was counting sixteenth notes. One and a. Now I'm going to count one and. So, I'm always counting that in my head, so I have that constantly going. Eventually, you won't have to do that. It's going to become second nature, but for right now, count in your head. That's always also going to help slow you down a little bit, right? Because you're only going to be able to say that so fast. So I want you to count out loud. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And, and you practice just the right foot and the left hand, bass and snare. Now, the other way you can practice is play those eighth notes on our hi-hat. Practice that while you practice the bass drum. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Remember, we're lifting on the and, so we come down on the one and the three. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. You can also leave out the bass drum. Practice with just the hand. So those are the three different kind of ways you break this down, right? Just eliminate one of your limbs, because we're using three, right? Right now the left foot, we're not marching with it or anything. It's simply holding this hi-hat down. We're not going to tap it, we're not going to do anything with that left foot. So we're using three, three limbs, the right foot, the right hand, and the left hand. So, now let's combine the two things that we've got going. We've got that single stroke roll, and we've got our drum groove. We're going to combine them, but first I'm going to show you how to play that drum groove just on a practice pad. So if you have just a practice pad, Remember, you can just tap your foot on the ground. You don't need a bass drum pedal. One and two and three and four and. And remember, flam just means both sticks hitting at the same time. Right? So we can do that all on a practice bat. Right? It's the same thing. So that's how you can practice that with just a practice pad. Now, combining Combining the two gives you a drum fill and a drum groove and you're ready to play a song. One quick thing to remember, playing that fill Symbol crash is actually the one of our drum group. So most drum fills are one measure, four quarter notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. The symbol crash at the end comes on the one of the next measure, which is actually the one of our drum group. One and that one right there was the cymbal crash. If you crash and then start one, now you're off an eighth note. So just keep in mind that crash is the one.
There you have it, the 1324B, even combined with our single stroke roll, a drum groove, a drum fill, you're ready to start playing a song. Good luck. Girls, you rock Michiana. Keep rocking Michiana. And hopefully we can see each other all in person next year. Be safe, stay healthy. One other thing, you can tune in and see my band do a live stream from Fridays by the Fountain. Get kind of a backstage pass. Mel's going to show you me uh, playing the drums back there. You can see how this applies to a band setting. And uh, I'm sure she'll probably show you the guitar and bass and singer and all the other instruments that you might be interested in the band. But it'll be a nice little backstage experience at, a, at an actual gig. So stay safe. Enjoy the virtual camp. Support the Music Village. When we're open back up, sign up for lessons, and hopefully I'll see you then.